All right, today I'm gonna take you through one of the most intense bodyweight workouts. Now, last workout, we did the one-arm push-up, we did some one-arm chin-ups, we did some close grip push-up work. Well, this workout, we're gonna be doing some new type of exercises. We're gonna be working on the shoulders especially, the back thickness and density, um, and we're gonna continue to build our chest. So this workout is extremely powerful. I've actually been seeing really good gains focusing on bodyweight training these last two months just crazy gains. When you do these body movements, it has a secret advantage that lifting weights don't deliver. With push-ups and chin-ups, your hands are fixed to the ground or the bar, and that actually makes it easier to recruit maximum muscle fiber. So I actually find that people that have a body training background are stronger. So you can actually generate more force from a closed chain push-up versus lifting dumbbells or, or free weights. So you really experience really good strength and muscle gain. So for this workout, we're gonna be starting off with the handstand push-up. Now, I am actually doing the elite variation, which is where you handstand push-ups and you go side to side. So in my new program, we have people already doing the full range handstand push-ups. Now my next goal is to get them to do the side to side. And the side to side, as you go down, you're lifting 60 to 70% on your left arm. And so it's gonna generate insane power. You're lifting more than half your body weight on that left arm when you come here and then the right arm. So you are developing a level of strength that most people that, that lift 100 pound dumbbells can't even do. So this is absurd. So we're gonna be doing two sets side to side or the hardest variation you can handle. And then the third set we're doing, we're going lighter. So for our third set, we're gonna do regular handstand push-ups. Of course, if this is too challenging, you can do pike push-ups. So my new Movie Star Bodyweight program, I show you the, uh, I show you the step-by-step -step how to build up to these different variations. So you need to use the variation that is right for you. And for the first half of the workout, we're focusing on longer rest periods, about three minutes rest. And we're focusing on tension. That builds the muscle density and that myofibular hypertrophy. Now next, we're gonna be doing a pull-up variation. It's actually the sternum pull-up. This is where you do a pull-up, but you try and focus on pulling your chest to the bar. It turns the pull-up into more of a rowing motion, and that's gonna build the rhomboids and the mid and lower traps, giving your back that nice development and thickness in the middle. This makes your physique look so, so powerful. So the elite variation is actually to do side-to-side -side sternum pull-ups, which you will never see someone do this. This is an amazing exercise. I've never seen anyone do it. It's something that I came up with to make the exercise more challenging. So you're gonna find that your back is activated in a completely new way. You're gonna feel the rhomboids, the mid, lower traps come into action. And so we're gonna do two sets side to side, about 12 reps. And for our third set, we're gonna do regular sternum pull-ups for 10 to 12 reps. Now, if this is too challenging, you can do a bodyweight row instead with a barbell or with a suspension band, you hit the rows. Now for the third exercise, we're gonna hit our chest. So in my new bodyweight program, your chest is getting hit Monday and Friday really well. So this has actually been why my chest has gotten a lot bigger, but I'm not doing any benching, any incline benching. It's all one arm push-ups, side to side push-ups, um, close grip push-ups with some weight. So for the side to side push-ups, we're gonna go for my first set, I'm going for eight reps per arm. My second set, um, we're doing you know six reps per arm. And my third set, five reps per arm. And I have a backpack with 25 pounds to make it harder. And the key is to really focus on going to the left side, using as much of that left arm as possible than the right side. If this is too challenging, you just do regular push-ups. But having your arms on blocks or bars allows you to get a really nice stretch. So it's gonna really tear open that chest and trigger a lot of muscle growth, that nice full stretch. So in three sets and for the third exercise, we're keeping the rest shorter. We're going for that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So the first half is building that tension, that strength. The second half is getting the volume in. And so focusing on the strength, the tension, and the volume pump work will allow you to get maximum muscle size. So some people believe in lifting heavy, other people believe in high reps. It's both that are crucial for maximizing muscle growth. So power lifters generally focus on strength, bodybuilders focus on, on the volume and the reps. You wanna do both as a natural to build the best physique possible. Now next, you can go into side to side chin ups, you know, commando pull ups for the biceps, focusing more on the brachialis and the outer bicep. Or if you have a set of dumbbells, you can do hammer curls. And I actually like to do this starting light and just starting with 30s, going for 15, going 35s for 12, 40s for 12, and then finally 45s for 12. I call it keno rep training. You start light and you just add weight and you keep the reps around the same. 
It's a nice way to give your nervous system a break from lifting heavy, you know, because you're fatiguing yourself as you get up to a heavier weight. So it allows you to get volume in without fatiguing your nervous system. And wow, these were firing me up. I got freaking excited doing these. And it's crazy, you know, if you look at my physique right now and you're thinking, holy hell, Greg, what the hell is going on? I've never seen you look this jacked before. I'm telling you, the secret is a 172. Mostly I'm around 178, 180, 182. My physique does not pop unless I'm 172. So if you look back to my 2016 condition where everyone was like, holy shit, Greg, your physique's insane. Well, I was 169 there, now I'm 172. So I, I'm about the same leanness for sure, but I'm a bit bigger and I'm a bit bigger in my lower body. I've actually put on a lot of size on my legs, um, which makes the body training a bit harder, um, but it makes it more challenging and fun. So now I'm finishing off with some lateral work. You know, it's always great to be able to get those lateral raises in to build, you know, your shoulders. So if you don't have dumbbells, you can just get a cheap pair of uh, bands and do your lateral work. And what's cool with the bands is that that last range of motion is really hard. So I like to do rest pause work, you know, 20 reps. I'll hit 20 reps in my first set and then do three sets of six with 10 seconds rest. And it takes two minutes to do this and it just blows your shoulders up because by only resting 10 seconds, your shoulders keep using maximum muscle fiber recruitment. It's a really good way to milk out muscle size with an exercise that's easy. You can do 20 reps with an exercise, it's only those last five reps that really count, but rest 10 seconds, now that first rep is tough, so it forces you to get as much muscle fiber activation as possible. And now my workout's done, but I'm gonna finish off with a couple sets of L-sits, focus on the core strength, the flexibility, the mobility, and boom, that workout is finished. So this is the elite version of my bodyweight program. And in my Movie Star Elite Bodyweight Program, you get the three months of gym training to get into shrink wrap shape, and you also get the bodyweight training. So you get six months of training, three months bodyweight, three months in the gym, and you actually get my hybrid routine, which, which utilizes some overhead presses, some incline presses with the bodyweight training. So really, this is the best program I put together. This is the drop the mic program. I've used this program to get into my best shape ever, and I'm having a blast doing the bodyweight training. It's so fun. And best of all, I'm like, holy cow, my leanness is locked in because before when I wanted to hit the 285 incline, I wanted to you know, overhead press you know, 190, 200, I'd force myself to eat a lot. I'd be eating and then I'd put on a little bit of fat to hit the weights and I'd be trying to battle gaining the strength on the weights but keeping myself lean. Well, that doesn't happen with bodyweight training because the leaner you are, the better you're gonna be at handstand push-ups and one-arm chin-ups and one-arm push-ups. So it forces you to lock in that low, low body fat and get as strong as possible at that low body fat. So it really trains you to have that relative strength and relative strength is the key to looking good. So I'm so proud of this program. We already have over 6,000 people doing it. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll show you how to build up to this stuff. It's so powerful. I've had people that were hitting flat toes on incline bench, on these lifts, and since doing bodyweight training, they've just smashed through their plateaus. This stuff is no joke. I am converted. I'm probably gonna spend the next six months just focusing highly on the bodyweight moves. Um, anyways, I wanna share that video with you. Hope you got a ton of value from it. I'll talk to you soon.